Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Singapore. It is about 4.30 p.m. in the afternoon and we are walking over to one of the most famous places to eat a dish called bak chaw mi, which is minced pork noodles. And this place is so famous and so legendary that there is often a queue and I read some blog posts saying that you can wait for an hour sometimes in line. So it's a good thing I don't really have anything else to do this afternoon but wait in line. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go check it out. We just made it to the restaurant which is called Hill Street Taiwa Pork Noodle. And looks like we came here at a perfect time because there's just I think there's only about five people in front of me and so this shouldn't be a long wait and I'm gonna order myself a bowl of minced pork noodles. Kiriwala. Yes, chili please. Spicy, okay. Thank you. They have $5, $6, $8, and $10 options. I got the $6 bowl, and I got it with the yellow egg noodles. I am actually extremely surprised by how short that line was. I think this might be the perfect time to come. It's like 4.30 in the afternoon on a weekday, and so I'm sure this is uh, kind of the least busy time, but I only had to wait for about five minutes, and I got my bowl of bok chaw mi, and the owner is really friendly. You can really tell his passion for making these noodles. He kind of he kind of adds in a bunch of ingredients, then he'll ask you if you want it spicy, in which case I replied a definite yes. And then he added in some sauce, a couple of different scoops of random sauces, mixed it all around, and then he transferred that sauce to another bowl, and then he blanched the egg noodles, and then trans that to, transferred that to another bowl. And so it was kind of a like a bowl transferring process to create this bowl of noodles, but it is, it is quite a pretty bowl of noodles. Beneath here are the egg noodles, which are yellow noodles. The minced pork is on top. These are um, dumplings, look like one ton dumplings. And then I've got some, also some slices of pork and then some pieces of liver as well. And then I added on some extra chili to the side to mix in some just some fresh diced chilies. And the sauce, let me see if I can give you a, a look at that sauce. Oh, there's some meatballs down below there too that I, that I missed. Um, it's kind of an oily, a red oily red and brown sauce. Additionally, the noodles are served with a bowl of soup on the side which looks like a, just kind of a, a light broth with some seaweed in it. Oh, and this little piece on top, I think that is a piece of fried fish because they can see those fish bones, maybe dried fried fish, but just one bite. That might be the, the bite for the end. I think what I'm going to do is just mix everything up because all that sauce is on the bottom. I'm going to stir it up. I want to mix in with all that um, spicy sauce on the bottom and then all those chilies. I cannot stir any longer. I got to taste it. Mm, and I smell, I smell a little bit of a sourness to it, which almost smells like uh, Worcestershire sauce. But maybe they, maybe they add a little bit of vinegar into that sauce below there. I have no idea though. Mmm. Oh yeah, that is fantastic. <laughs> Those noodles have a little bit of a chewiness to them. Um, but then what I like is that each of the, the noodles, you can really taste each individual strand of noodle because of that kind of oily sauce that it's in. It does have just a, a hint of a sourness. It's definitely a combination of the texture of those noodles paired with that, that kind of roasted chili flavored sauce. Mmm. Yeah, that is, that is delicious. Oh, all my chilies have sunk to the bottom there. I'm gonna grab a bite with some of that liver. And I'm gonna follow that bite with a, a bite of the soup. Mm. Yeah, that's just a very kind of light broth. 
I think it's pork. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely it's pork. And it almost has a little bit of a, a soybean flavor to it. I could be wrong, but or maybe that's coming from the seaweed flavor. If your noodles get too dry, you could probably transfer some of that broth over to your noodles to, to re-moisten them. If your noodles sit for a little while, all of the like goodies will start sinking to the bottom. So you gotta, you gotta re-stir every now and then. I'm gonna have one of the meatballs next. Oh. Okay, that is a little bit mushier than I expected. Mm. But it's good. It kind of tastes like, what does it taste like? Oh, it tastes exactly like Vienna sausage. And I don't think I've had Vienna sausage in years. And then for my next bite, I'm going for the, the wonton dumpling. Mmm, mmm. That wonton is where the sourness is coming from. I can taste the Chinese vinegar in that. Or maybe that was just a, a bunch of vinegar that got stuck on the top of that dumpling and I didn't mix in well enough. But that had a very, very nice uh, vinegary flavor and with like a minced pork meatball in the middle. Remember how I said I was gonna save this little piece of fish for the end? Here it is, all solo left in the bottom of the bowl, and it is my final bite. Mmm. Oh yeah. Is that fish? Oh, yeah, I think it's fish. But it doesn't really have any kind of fishiness. It's just like a, a solidly crispy, deep fried morsel of a piece of fish. I definitely can't say for sure how busy it will be when you come on another day. Uh, but I came, yeah, we came at 4.30 p.m. on a weekday. I think it's a Thursday. It was just a five minute wait and a well worth it five minute wait. So thank you all very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And also thank you to all of you who recommended to try this bowl of minced pork noodle. That was delicious. Thank you all for the recommendation and thank you for watching this video. See you on the next video.